Hey guys, tonight I'm gonna make jalapeno burgers. Got the jalapeno pepper jack patties, I'm pre made so it's easy. Some brioche buns, these um, crispy jalapeno things, and some pepper jack cheese. I'm gonna start some bacon, and I'm preheating my foodie. And there's a trick if you put a piece of bread in the bottom. I use the heel because nobody eats those anyway. It will um, soak up most of the juice from the bacon. So I'm gonna put that in and then put my crisper basket. And I'm just gonna throw all the bacon in. And then I'll close the lid, stir that around occasionally just till it's crispy to however you're liking. And then that's the bacon. So then over here I have the um, Instant Pot. I put the little trivet in the bottom, one cup of water. I'm gonna put this thing on here. And put the burgers in there so it's easy to get them out. Let's see how many patties I can fit in there. Might have to do these one at a time. I think I can stack them. I totally forgot to season those, so I'm gonna season them real quick. Okay, we got this Himalayan pink salt, black pepper and garlic. It's really good. A lot of people recommended it on the page. I'm gonna season with some of that. And then I do my burgers with lots of salt and pepper. Usually that's all I put on them. So I'm gonna add some additional salt and pepper. And then of course you wanna flip them over tongs so I don't have to wash my hands every two minutes. So I'm going to flip them over and season the other side. Also, I've heard a lot of people complain that um, things don't taste very seasoned when you pressure cook. So um, I usually advise using more seasoning than you normally would so you get your stuff nice and full of flavor. I'm going to put it on the lid, close the valve, and I'm going to pressure cook on high for five minutes. Every time I use the Instant Pot, I forget how to use it because I use my foodie all the time. Um, so I'm going to pressure cook for five minutes, and then when that's done, I'm going to let it naturally release for five minutes and then I'll open up that valve. And bacon is cooking, coming along. I'm actually gonna make the fries in my oven for the first time since Christmas because I'm using my foodie. So everything's going. I'm gonna go sit on the couch and I'll be back in about 10 minutes. Okay, burgers are done. I put them on the low setting on the trivet that came with the Ninja Foodie. There they are. And I'm gonna go ahead, I did drain the bacon grease also, so there's no liquid in the bottom. Go ahead and crisp for five minutes. So they'll be nice and crispy on the outside. Bacon's ready, got my fries in the oven. I'm also going to crisp up my um, buns put a very thin coating of mayo on the inside of here put them in there it makes really really good crispy buns so that's coming up next all right so there's one minute left in the air frying of burgers They're looking pretty good they smell amazing i'm gonna go ahead and put the pepper jack cheese on i'm gonna let that cook for the last minute to melt the cheese I've got my buns on the stove, toasting up. One of these days I'm going to get a tripod for my phone so I can do this and not have to hold the phone. There's those. 
in one more minute. It's funny, one of my pieces of cheese blew off, ended up in the bottom and melted, but those look so good. So I'm gonna take those out and I'm actually, um, I got the extra crispy fast food fries. I like to sprinkle them with lots of salt, a little bit of sugar, and a little bit of garlic powder. Makes them taste just like McDonald's. So I'm gonna put those back in the air fryer just for a minute to um, get all those tossed around with the sugar. My buns are warming up. I'm not quite there yet, but they're getting there. And then I'm gonna put it all together. So here's the fries, I haven't fried them yet, but I'm gonna put those in there. We're gonna get crispy, extra, extra crispy. I really like the um, Copper Chef fry basket because it um, you don't have to flip your, like toss your fries to flip them over and it gets um, crispy all around. So that's it. I'm about to put the burgers together so we can eat.